Anna. You came back. Yeah, well... It's not every day you reunite with your robot sister after the apocalypse. And because I figured if you went to that much trouble to protect me, you must really care. I do. I've just been scared, Anna, about losing you again. I thought I was doing the right thing, keeping the truth from you. All you need to do is be my sister, Elsie. Whatever truths we face, no matter how tough, we'll do it together. No better time than the present, then. You brought it? Confidential intelligence activated. It's been centuries since our collective passing, and yet my granddaughters, Elizabeth and Anastasia, stand before me alive. Clovis? Yes, Anastasia. It's me. Incredible. I assume since you've made it this far, you've come for my research. Potent darkness energy. This is what you were looking for, Elizabeth? I could never use it. Something tells me you can. I can, and will, but not alone. We can all use it for good, to save humanity. No, no, no. What? It's not what it's for at all. It's for research, for legacy, for the brain, name. Eh? Why am I not surprised? Don't get holier than thou on me. Need I remind it was you who volunteered for Project XO? You knew the brain name was at stake and you fought for it. Unlike your sisters, who your mother, even your father, all ungrateful and weak. You were always a bastard, Clovis. And yet, you stood beside me willingly, even into eternal life. Life I gave you. Well, good thing you did. Because I'm going to use it to help save the universe from evil like you. Your naivete was always to be your downfall, Randall. Enjoy the gift, and don't forget, you'll always be a prey. Like me. You know, Clovis was always problematic, but he used to have some humanity before he let the darkness take it from him. Screw him. He can't control us anymore. Let's take this power and use it exactly like he doesn't want us to. For humanity. Anna's right. We have what we came for. Time to take it to the ziggurat. Come find me after. <laughs> 